an early morning battle cry. These are the newest recruits for the local Amhara militia, known as Fano. There is no shortage of passion, but these volunteers are about to join Ethiopia's civil war, currently one of the most brutal conflicts on earth. No one here is really a soldier. These men and women are students, farmers, engineers and the likes. On this makeshift training ground, most lack basic skills and fitness, but they say it's a matter of survival. Shoulder to shoulder among the recruits, a brother and sister. Saida is just 16 years old and quit his school to volunteer. What is started as a political dispute turned to an all-out war. These recruits are ethnic Amhara, allies of the Ethiopian government. They are fighting their regional neighbors and ethnic Tigran Yag group, the TPLF. Until recently, the TPLF ruled the country, leading a brutal 27-year regime under which most of these people were born. No wonder there is a profound animosity. Now, each side claims the other is trying to commit genocide. Trainer Miskan is preparing his community for a long war. An ex-member of Ethiopia's special forces, he says Fano represents his people, and many are willing to sacrifice their lives for the Amhara cause. All sides have been accused of war crimes in this year-long conflict, including mass killings, the use of starvation and rape as a weapon. In the latest incident, at least 10 people were reportedly killed today in a government airstrike in the Tigranyan capital, Magalle, following reports of TPLF shelling in Dese yesterday. There is now fighting on many fronts. For Fano, this is a war they cannot lose. They say they know the terrain better and have a strong motivation. The mountainous city of Dese has become a major flashpoint. A strategically vital road runs through, linking this landlocked country to the seaport of Djibouti. The city is now held by the government and Fano, but the TPLF is just 15 miles away and is fighting hard to advance. The battle here could be decisive. Among the Amhara community, here and outside the country, there are regular calls for people to support Fano with volunteers and money. McKinnon has been in the US for 20 years. He was campaigning on social media to raise funds and recruit fighters for Fano, but now he has left behind his wife and four children to come here to fight. My sons, I got like 19 years old. All, I always tell them, I'm gonna go. If the time is time. I am a father and I cannot imagine leaving my kids and saying, you know, I might not come back. Yeah, I don't tell them I might not come back. I'll tell them I'll be back because I don't feel I'm going to die. I asked McKinnon about the blockade in Tigray. 
they pretend like they are victims. They're talking about, the, oh, we're starving. Who make the start? They fight, they kill, and they uh, rob a lot of innocent people. So what does that mean? It doesn't don't make no sense. So what do they want? They want to come back. They to want to, they want to come back to the power. When do you think this war is gonna stop? Unless this TPLF uh, dismounts, it's not gonna be stopped. But the fight could be another 20 years. They're gonna and and and. The conflict began as a power struggle between the government and a former ruling party. But it reignited deeply held grievances amongst Ethiopia's different ethnic groups. Both sides believe military action is the solution. And now, another generation of Ethiopians will experience hate and violence.